Agriculture broadcasters Orion Samuelson and Max Armstrong featuring agricultural meteorologist Greg Solier. This Week in Agribusiness is brought to you by Firestone Ag Tires. Hello again and welcome to This Week in Agribusiness. And I'm joined this week by Steve Bridge because Kansas City became the headquarters this week for farm broadcasters. But in Washington, agriculture's still on the front burner. Boy, Orion, there are so many things to have a conversation about when it comes to Washington, D.C. and policy underway in D.C. that can impact farmers. You can talk about the farm bill that is being written right now as we speak. And we can also focus on negotiations about free trade and the NAFTA renegotiations. So our Patrick Haggerty sat down with Senator John Bozeman from Arkansas to talk trade. Well, trade is vital to the agricultural community. Uh, it's one of the bright spots. You know, we have a, actually have a surplus. All of those are good things. Uh, I've talked to the trade representative. I've, I've explained, you know, these things. Many others have explained. I think it's important to remember, you know, foremost, that NAFTA is good for farmers uh, and has been very, very good. On the other hand, uh, the president, uh, I think rightfully so, is looking at these agreements. I think it's fine, you know, for him to go forward. And so we need to support that. Uh, but we just need to, to make sure that we uh, help to explain the importance of agricultural trade to our trade representative, to the administration as we go forward. Is there any chance that, uh, as we, as I said, rewrite, renegotiate, update, whatever we're going to call it, that at some point there'll be a trade-off, like we're going to, you know, uh, corn or soybeans or, or something's going to lose out, cotton is going to get traded off for some other piece. What are we doing to make sure that doesn't happen? You know, I, again, I don't think so. And, and what we're doing is, is in a variety of different ways, programs like this, uh, talking to a number of other people, talking directly to the uh, administration's top people, talking to our trade representative, explaining that, uh, you know, that that would not be in the best interest of the American farmer. Uh, and again, they've been very, very supportive of the president uh, and will remain so. Uh, so I think I think everybody's doing a good job in that regard. Is there a schedule or a timetable that the, w this thing has to get done by? Or? I think they're going to meet again in, in the next three months. One of the things that's interesting is we run into a situation where the um, the they're having an election. And, and just like here, you know, when elections start, then difficult things are hard to get done. And uh, I believe the cutoff, not really a cutoff, hard cutoff, but, but in thinking through the election coming up, uh, probably March, you know, is, is a time that uh, uh, things need to be uh, somewhat settled. And Ag has stayed united on the front with NAFTA, Orion asking that no harm be done during the renegotiations to farm trade. Yeah.